Maximum. Start mission. Optimum. Okay. Cheeto. Cheeto. Dinobot. Rhino. I just want to be Rhinox, honestly. Dinobot. Cheeto. Optimus. Now I'll start with Optimus. See how that goes. Optimus's uh, weapons are not my favorite. But also I don't really know what the menuing is like if I change characters. I don't know if I would need to do it every time or what. Jay-Z. Progress is good. I finished the game last night. I actually beat it once, so <laughs> now I'm trying to actually just do it somewhat fast. And I'm feeling good about it. There are a few levels that are probably going to be tough, but, uh, but I'm mostly feeling good. I found a couple of skips already, so yeah, I think it's going to be a fun time. Uh, I'm playing on a PS2 right now, but yeah, it's on console. I usually play games on PS1, but I happen to have my PS2 plugged in for something else, so that's what I'm using right now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe when I eventually come back to this, because I'm I'm basically going to do this run and then move on to other things for a few months and then come back to this. And maybe when I come back I'll actually go on PS1 console, try to beat my run, because I'm sure no matter what the loads are like, <laughs> there will be enough skips to be found that I would be able to beat whatever I get right now on PS1. And I do like having runs, at least at some point, on PS1 console. Feels nice. Oh, crud. I'm so bad at that. I do that all the time. Just turn way too far right there. One level down. Oh yeah, I'm done with Spyro for a bit. Start mission. Optimus. Cause I mean I, I always run a lot of things. Um I got sub forty in Spyro any percent, 
forgot to change beast mode. I got sub 40 in Spyro any percent uh, a few days ago. Uh, and now... Oh, that's unfortunate. I really wanted to catch that. Wish I didn't fall like I did. Um... Anyway, I I'm running Spyro any percent and Crash any percent in a race in a few weeks. And so after this run, I'm going to be working on Crash any percent for a while. Oh god. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to switch again to uh, learning Mario Sunshine any percent for a different race, which... I am maybe a little ill-prepared for. Okay, so I found out you could skip on to here, and I have a suspicion... <gasps> I did it! Oh my god! I was gonna say I have a suspicion you could jump over that wall and skip like the whole level, but I hadn't done it yet. But I did it. I actually did it. Let's go. The other plan was, if I gave up on that, I was gonna try that for like a minute, and then if that didn't work, I could just like clip down through that ceiling and still skip a chunk of stuff. But yeah, that, that's awesome. I'm happy I got that. <laughs> the skips in this game are really fun. I, I've had fun looking at these. Yo, Blarg. Tog Champ. This game looks kind of cool. It's pretty fun. Blarg, I had a YouTube video recommendation the other day. Uh, YouTube recommended a Bugdom speedrun world record from 2010. <laughs> I didn't watch it, but I just thought that was that was funny. Err, come on. Dang, that's too bad. I fell at the start, because that would have been really good otherwise. <laughs> I guess not really good. The skip did take me a few tries. Yo, Dan. Thank you for the GL. <laughs> oh, crap. I forgot to... If you hold triangle at the start of the level, you switch into beast mode first frame, and in this level you can do it during that cutscene, and you don't have to wait. And I just totally forgot to. I really need to find a skip for this, though. I'd like to find a way to get down without needing to go through all of this. You're thinking of Bugdom 2, I see. Because, I mean, Bugdom, it seemed like a proper game, in a sense. from the, the few minutes I played of it the other day. But yeah, I can I can imagine there being another game that is much more of a proper game. I think I'm gonna go straight to Desert. And Desert's gonna suck, because it's the area I've played the least. Well, I mean, except for Volcanic 2, I guess. No, even Volcanic 2, I think I've probably played more than Desert now. Okay, let's see if I can actually figure out the path in this level, because this level's weird. Let's see. Going round, going round. I really need to find a skip for this, honestly. Because this is a long level that I'm sure could be made much shorter. Uh, can I not? Oh, okay. Thought I could get around there, but I guess... I guess the map was deceiving me. This is where I wanted to be. So I go through here. Break this. Shoot at a bunch of things, uh, 
try not to get myself blown up. And then I need to break this. Um. Oh gosh. There we go. Good, good, good. Okay, and then there's some rocks at the end of this. I need to blow those up. Ah. Uh, <laughs> the slopey ground. I'm slip sliding away. There we go. Uh, and then it's this way. There's some rocks on my right that I need to go through. I think I can just switch back now? And I don't remember what the end of this level is like. Is there a thing I fight? Is it just a place I stand? I don't remember. No, that's right. This is the level that ends with fighting a few of those tank things. I remember now. I've played this game more than once, technically. That should be it. Yeah. Yeah. This is how you run in your dreams. Um, there... Okay, so this game has two campaigns. And there is a person who runs the Predacon campaign, but there aren't any full game runs of the Maximal campaign. There are ILs that someone has done of some of these levels, but not all of them. And I didn't watch those. I probably should have. I was I was much more focused on trying to just finish the game myself for the first time. Uh, that's not right. This way. As I recall, also the ILs of the Maximal campaign. Oh, I. F mm. I should have looked where I was going. I saw the dark spot on the map and was like, I'm just gonna jump in there. Start mission. Cheetor. That's fine, we can be Cheetor. Cheetor's cool too. Anyway, as I recall, they didn't do all of the Maximal campaign. There's only a few of the levels that have ILs for them. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not a popular speed game by any means. The person who has done the Predacon campaign, though, um, they've done it a lot. They, she's really good at it. She, she ran it in the most recent GDQ, and Tooper showed me it looks like she's also running it in Frame Fatales in, I think it's the end of February is when that next one is. I need to fight something here, I think. And yeah, I, I'm sure... I'm sure with some looking, I'll find a lot more skips. No, that's not enough. Is it you? I'm sure with more looking, I'll find a lot more skips, because I... All things considered, I have not looked very much. Like, the desert levels, I've basically played... I don't think that's right, I think I go this way. I think I've basically played enough to have beaten the game once, and that's it. This is not the right way. I was wrong. Actually, no. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm supposed to break through this. I remember I'm supposed to go through a path and hit a button. Yeah, so, the thing with this game, if I try to jump up a wall, like you'll see here, if I jump at this, the wall just, like, immediately slides me down, and there's not much I can do. Ooh, is this... is this right? That maybe? Yeah, I think this is right. Um, the wall just, like, immediately slides me down, but there are walls that don't do that. And there are walls that will try to slide you down, but you can still jump while it's doing it. There's a bunch of weird stuff. I 
I don't think that's right. I think I keep going this way. Yeah, and then I cross this. Yeah, yeah, this is looking right. And then there's a button over here. Aha! It's coming back. Uh, in a couple of levels, I can show... I can do one of the skips I found. Oh, yeah, and then this is the boss. I need to fight this thing. Big ol' scorpion tank. I'll just keep being Cheetor, that's fine. Again, I keep forgetting to hold triangle. Um... I, d I don't remember which way to go here. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Cheek at the start of a map. I actually, yes. I didn't say that the other day because I didn't know if anybody watching would have known what I was talking about, but when I realized you can hold triangle to change characters at the start, that was the first thing I thought of. That's exactly what it reminded me of. I want this to go back. I don't remember if this is a pit that I just die if I fall into, so I'm just gonna write this out a little bit. Yeah. Every game is Melee Doom and N++, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that would actually... that wasn't too long. Start mission. Oh, wait. Polluted Keep one. There we go. Desert took me only a little bit longer than all of our been, so I'm, I'm happy enough with that. SMB, good old Super Meat Brothers. I gotta think there's gonna be some way to skip that gate that I just opened, but I was not looking long enough to, uh, to figure it out. Those not helpful jumps up those slopes. Okay, so here's a skip. Here's an example of a skip I found. There's a big electric fence over here that you can't, like, jump through or anything, but you can jump up this mountain a bit, turn... And then jump over here and over, dang it. Okay, I messed up, but you, you see the idea. And even if this takes me a few tries... Oh, close, close. Even if this takes me a few tries, this is still way faster than doing this level the other way. Oh, come on. <laughs> that, that was rough. Oh. I was making this mistake the other day, too. I need to slow a bit. There's a spot that I can land on right there that I just fell short of. And if I get there, then from there I should just, yeah, wait a moment and then jump. Because if I try to just keep moving and jump, I'll get a crappy jump and just fall. But yeah, that that's the kind of skips this game is, I assume, going to have a bunch of. I watched the record of the Predacon campaign, and it's got loads of skips like that. It's got jumping out of bounds, jumping on top of the map, a bunch of stuff. It's really cool. And I see no reason why the Maximal campaign will be very different. It's just a matter of looking for stuff. Did the exact same skip and bugged him. Yep. Yeah. 
I'd like to find a skip for this fight, too. Come on. Um, because the end of the level is right over this wall. I just need to walk over here and touch a thing. And it'd be nice if I could do that without needing to shoot all those guys. Start mission. Cheetor. This level I'd also like a skip for. It's kind of long. And it's another one where, uh... Where the end of the level is really close to the start. A lot of the levels in this are like that. But yeah, for some reason... Some drops just, like, insta-kill you. Because there is fall damage in this. If I, if I try to jump off a high ledge and land, it does hurt me. But there are other places where I don't even have to land. I just, like... I don't know, pass an invisible wall or something, and it's like, no, you're dead now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, bub. Sorry, bug. Uh, nope, not that way. Around the left. I don't know why I started going right there. I've played this level a bunch trying to get to Volcanic Area. I should know that. With a you die wall. Yeah, for sure. These enemies are terrifying, and I honestly kind of love them for that. <gasps> Give me... Okay, good. Um, so they're huge, of course, and they, like, spit bombs at you. And also, if you touch them, you immediately die. And also, they can just climb vertical walls almost if they want to. Like, you saw that one crawling down on the left there just a second ago. If it wanted to, it... Like, if it saw me, it could just climb up that wall and come get me. Oh god, that's right, this is the level with these jumps. I don't like these jumps. I'm not a fan of these jumps. These are all, if you miss the jump, you die jumps. And some of the jumping in this is a little janky. Oh god, I've failed that jump before for no reason. I just, I jump and the game's like, no, you didn't, you didn't have enough height. I know you did the jump exactly the same as you always have, but you just didn't have enough height this time, so you're dead now. I don't want to complain about the game too much. This is a really fun game. I enjoy it a lot. I forgot that I needed to shoot something. When I came down, it's that. Shooting that is what turns off the electric fence over here. Right. One thing I really like about this, just a little loose, yeah, um, on the map in the bottom, I love that it fills in green with areas you've been. But that's how I know that the end of this level is so close to the start. You can see at the top of my map, that's the start of the level, the, the green area there. So like, I, I've been right next to this area already. And this is, this is where the level's boss is. So yeah, if I could just like jump over a wall or something and get here, that would... That would save this whole level. Start yeah, there's some... Some wacky and wild stuff in the physics in this. Um, right. It took me a second to remember what level I was in and where I was going. I got distracted thinking about skips I want to find. But yeah, this level has a nice little drop down. 
you're supposed to, uh, like, go through this entire area, running, running down a long, long, uh, windy path down. Not windy path, but, you know, uh, just following the, the perimeter of the area coming down. <clears throat> okay, sure. But you can just drop down there where I did. That's polluted done. We're already 75% of the way done with the game. Start mission. Cheetor. Ooh, Pepsi. Agreed. Okay. This level has a type of enemy that I really don't like. It's these kind of... Oh, God, that was bad. Wait. Wait. No, wait. This is really bad, actually. I might die here. <laughs> it's these spider things where when you kill them, they, uh, like, release a, um... a little explosive thing that lunges at you. And even if you successfully shoot down the explosive thing, it still explodes wherever you finish shooting it. And if you're close to it when it does that, then it does a ton of damage. Warning, energy low. Like you can see I shoot the thing and then I'm shooting another thing and there's a big explosion right there. If I was a little bit closer to that explosion it would have just killed me. I really don't like these enemies. Luckily there are only a few of them. There's another one right here which I want to be ready for. Okay. Also, if it's lunging at you and the thing hits a wall, it'll explode early and you'll be safe. So, a lot of them you don't actually need to worry about anyway because of that. Come on. Yeah, 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 it'll transform. I'm super off cycle for this. I think, is there anything else? No, I guess not really. This platform moves super slow, and I, I think I just have to wait for it. It's just how it is sometimes. I don't need to go this way, but I don't like how little health I have, so I, I want to grab the health pickup over here. I don't think there's another health pickup really anytime soon, so I would very much like to have that. No! <sighs> Crud. Okay, well, this platform is still the fastest way back, so I'm just waiting. I should have just gone for it when I came over here. I, I could have made that jump. I have several times now. Oh gosh, wait, 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 wait. 
Oh, I can't see. <laughs> camera. I shouldn't blame the camera, that was my fault. I shouldn't have moved it up and left it up like that. Move, move, move. Good. I did trigger the boulder, right? I must have, yeah. There, there's no way I didn't. There's a boulder that starts up here and comes down. That's why I moved to the side on that path just a little bit. <sighs> I don't like how little health I have. I should have come in here as Rhinox. <laughs> This is probably the scariest level, health-wise. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 stop it, get out of here, oh god, terrifying, just terrifying, <laughs> okay, and then there's another ship right here that comes up, gotta take that out, and then I think I'm gonna be in beast mode for a while, you move a lot faster in beast mode, right, that's all that's over here, you move a lot faster in beast mode, but you can't defend yourself in it, so. Yeah, you, you want to spend as much time in beast mode as you can, but sometimes you just have to change over. Also, if I could make this jump, that'd be nice. If I could just, like, climb across those rocks, because the end of the level is straight ahead there. That would be really nice. There is another health pickup coming up soon. I'm gonna go right ahead around this rock, and then there's a couple of things that'll try to shoot at me, but I'm fine. Actually, I think I'm good in beast mode until I get to the boss. I think I am. I, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, no. You- it's one health bar. The green health bar is your actual, like, health. Uh, the purplish one- oh gosh. The purplish one is your energon resistance, where in most levels, um, if you're not in beast mode, your energon resistance goes down. And if it gets to the bottom and you're still not in beast mode, you start taking damage. And so you need to switch to beast mode to, like, refill it. Now this level has my favorite skip. Because this is the worst level. And we can skip all of the worst parts about it. There's a big, like, lava path with platforms that are on really gross cycles. Come on, there you go. Platforms that are on really bad cycles that take forever, and it's not clear where the platforms go. Some of them just dive into lava. This jump is a little hard, but, uh, skips all of it. Oh, almost, almost. Very close. There we go, come on, come on. Oh god, this jump is hard. <laughs> this jump is hard, but it's so much easier and faster than the whole rest of this level. <laughs> Dang. 
Hard game. Hard game is hard. It was a while before I was even sure that this jump was possible. I think I'm coming at it at a little bit of an angle, and I need to be more straight on for it. Also, if I touch that lava, it hurts me, so I do need to be careful while getting up here. Now, No, not coyote jumps. The other problem is, see how there's like, the slopey ground and then the tiled ground? If I run far enough that I leave the tiles and go onto the slopes, it cuts like a third out of my jump height. If you jump while well running with the direction of a slope, you jump very low. I know that- there we go! That's like two-thirds of the level done. <laughs> Seriously, every game is just N++ melee and, uh... I forgot the other one you said already, but yes. Uh, now, this level isn't over yet. I think this level has the hardest boss by kind of a lot, honestly. Like, I beat it first try, but I was surprised that I beat it first try. <laughs> um... I... I don't need that health. I'm gonna move on. What is shooting at me? Where did you come from? Okay, whatever. I saw the dot on my radar and just ignored it, but... Oh god. Jump here, come on. There you go. I'm actually doing relatively alright on health. I've been in a much worse spot health-wise here before. Anyway, there is still some stupid difficult platforming left, and there is still that mini-boss at the end. But I'm feeling alright about it right now. Because this is going to bring me up, and there's a health pickup right here. That helps quite a bit. Yeah, the timing for jump, it, it's something I'll just get used to as I play more, I think. Like I said, even missing it as many times as I did, that was still way faster than <laughs> playing the level normally. So I'm, I'm not too concerned by it. Actually, skipping over this would be another really, really nice skip to have. Good. Oh god, no, there it is! Where did you- what? Where did you even come from? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I didn't think there was another one of those enemies around here. I was very surprised to see that. There's more enemies here, though, and I need to take these out. And I'm almost good to just do the difficult platforming. <laughs> if I stand on any of these pillars too long, they start sinking into the lava, so I do have to be careful with this. And then turn around and shoot these things. And then this jump I've failed for no reason several times. Good. And then the jump onto this platform, I have also failed for no reason several times. I just, I don't know, I, I do a jump and the game's like, no, you didn't jump. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Oh. So now we're going back. Oh, okay. That jump scares me. I've made it both times I've gotten here, but it still scares me. Now we're going up, and then we're gonna fight a boss, and the boss is crazy fast. It's just really jittery, is the thing. Okay. 
I, I don't really know where it's gonna come from. It just kind of appeared last time. There he is. Um... Where are you? Oh my god. You see what I mean with this boss? <laughs> I know my energon resistance is low, leave me alone! Like, my god! Oh, I think I got it. Oh my god. Okay, we are good. <sighs> okay. And then this last level is a two-part level. We do one section and then another section and that brings us to the boss. I didn't mean to change to beast mode, I wanted to stay with my gun out. Now this is actually a level where we don't need to be in beast mode. I mean, I will a lot because it's faster, but we don't need it to, like, live. This is also the wrong way. I, I don't need to go there yet. I want to go this way first. Okay. Got a couple of sentry things to take out. These do a decent bit of damage, so I do like to try to avoid them. Also, this song is awesome. Gotta love any song that's just whispering who's there to you. following me from so far away! That is determination, wow. Okay. Just, dang. Credit where it's due. That thing followed me from like across the map after I teleported away. And then this is a nice, abrupt ending level, coming up in a second here. I think it's just right over here, it just ends. Yeah. <laughs> just go down a hallway. Nothing visibly after that. I know I was looking down, but there's not like a door or anything there. It just stops. Okay, so... If I die at this point, uh, I can play as another Transformer and come right back into this level. Into this part of the level, so... I am doing fine. Good, good. 
Okay, I gotta wait on that, that's fine. Is that... Yeah, that looks like I got him. Good. Gotta chill out on here for a second. I'm going to take out these sentries before getting on that platform. Um, catch this cycle? No. Oh, there is ground here actually, so kind of yes. Ah, just that. Yeah, do that. I would have liked to not have taken that much damage, but I think I just kind of have to deal with it. I suspect if I take that teleporter that's sitting in the lava, I might be able to get some health pickups, but... I don't know how much those are going to matter. <laughs> this boss does a lot of damage, and um, there's a health pick up there. That barely did anything. What? Oh well. Seriously, just so much damage, it's ridiculous. And Cheetor has relatively little health, so I, I don't know. Oh, 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 let's go, we did it! It's that, and then I think I just walk into the middle here? Warning, energy low. Or maybe I needed to be... Maybe I need to destroy all of these? I don't know, when I did this before, the game just kind of made me wait for a while, and then it ended. And I, I don't really know why. Do I need to touch him? Maybe that was it. Maybe I had to walk over to him. That's it! Go team! Sub-50! I had no idea how long this was gonna take. Was brought to you by Optimus Primal, Dinobot, Rhino, Rat Trap, Cheetor, and Air Razor. Petrobot, we're still the baddest! Yeah! Yeah! Fuck yeah, thanks, Shemp. Rat Trap is pretty great. I love Rat Trap. You don't start with Rat Trap, but you rescue Rat Trap at the end of the first polluted level, and you get to play as him for the rest of the game if you want. And I love that. Well, cool. Cool. I was right in thinking that after beating the game once, it would be significantly easier to do it again. Because, I mean, the same thing happened with Reboot. Reboot is a ridiculously hard game, but once you've done it once, you, you know what you're doing and you can do it again. And yeah, now it's just a matter of finding a bazillion skips for everything. <laughs> I think the the Predacon campaign, I mean, theoretically, these are about the same length, but the Predacon campaign world record is like 18 minutes. I recommend watching it. It's really cool, all the skips that they have for it. I say they. It's, again, one person has done Predacon campaign runs. I don't know if she found all the skips herself, or if there's a small community, but she's just the only one who's been doing runs. Well, I use Emu to grind skips. I don't know. It would be smart to... I like practicing on console, though. Not for, like, any real reason. I just, I enjoy the feel of a normal PlayStation controller in my hands. I think that's the main thing. But yeah, emulator would be the smart thing to do, because this game is pretty brutal in a lot of ways. Oh, we get we de we got a high score. Got to be toast. No, oh, toast. Woo. <laughs> of 
cool. Fun game, fun game. I'm gonna find someone to raid. <laughs>